Good afternoon, I'm Nick Davis. Welcome back to our NKVD Magnitogorsk. Last time we left off, we just pimp slapped Durwanger for the third time. Uh, and so it's. We're also having to deal with NKV dissatisfaction. But we're gonna stack bureaucracy in a, in a couple days, I think 25 days, until we can stack the bureaucracy. Just so we can keep NKVD dissatisfaction. Dissatisfaction low. Uh, but we're gonna mimic Soviet training, do extraction team training, force weaponry integration, supply production planning, enemy of my enemy. Then we're gonna go down the super soldat. I think. Uh, let me see. Yeah, we'll go down Super Soldat. This one. Then we'll go down. Oh. Or, or uh, order a thorough investigation. That's good, because we need to keep it down. But, Dur Durwanger's not really a threat anymore. That's what I've decided. But <coughs> oh, for me. Uh, but we're up to 33 subscribers, and so I think we're doing pretty good. We're doing the officers. Uh, I was thinking maybe maybe we could try raiding Durlanger and stuff. Uh, it's too risky. Okay, there. Their uh, disloyalties at uh, 27, so when we stack bureaucracy, they'll lower by five five percent. Persecute officers. We gotta wait till we get some army experience. Uh, the NKVD really don't like to be displaced. Is there any, uh... No, they all have... Oh, Konstantin Roka... Rokovsovsky. I was wondering where, like, there was a leak. And so these two states were mentioned and stuff. There are more... These guys... Oh. All commanders within the 22nd Motor Rifle Division and any associated auxiliary forces are to immediately alter their training regiments to meet the specifications within this document. Doing so will ensure, ensure the ideological, physical, and genetic superiority of our future soldiers. These alterations will bring in the division's training regimen in line with that employed by the Soviet Union prior to the Great Patriotic War, with some alterations in order to accommodate the new discoveries of Comrade Leshenko. All infantry and training will be required to spend no less than two months being drilled on proper combat procedure. Of these two months, two weeks are to be dedicated specifically to training with advanced weaponry. This is to prevent any further incidents of improperly trained troops, improperly trained troops mishandling and damaging valuable military equipment. All field officers are to spend an additional month being trained in how to combat their Command their soldiers in a variety of combat and non-combat situations. Topic to be covered will include leading raids, acquiring testing subjects, scouting unknown territory, defending research sites, and others to be detailed in for further communiques. Testing subjects who have been designated for combat training will be subject to this new regimen, as well as any ongoing experiments they're taking a part in. In this event that the re requirements of, the ex of an ex if an experiment conflict with part of the standard training regimen, the experiment shall take priority. This includes denying living essentials to testing subjects in training, issuing prototype weapons to testing subjects in training, and inducing the copulation of testing subjects in training. I, I think that means forcing them to have sex. Field officers are now now permitted to use capital punishment should they deem it necessary. Infractions considered deserving 
of capital punishment include, but are not limited to, deserting a post, disobeying the orders of a superior officer, compromising the integrity of an experiment, and inspiring cowardice or disloyalty among the men. Any instances on capital punishment must be reported, and frivolous use of it may result in demotion or re reassignment. The Union did not fall due to their tactics. Uh, let's get some more research. We're only 202 days till we get that new T-34. Uh, it just, yeah, let's get the mother. So that means let's get the uh, recent attacks upon troops by future and prospective subjects. The attached information uh, led to the creation of a new training group, the Subject Extra Extraction Coordinating Group (SECG), which will overhaul unit subject material extraction training, expand the training program to e every combat and unit troop. See the daily bulletin for further information on the Subject Extraction Coordinating Group. Communique two five point B over. That's only 35 days. Okay, let's stack the bureaucracy. Then wait till we get five more political power. But what we really need is uh, we training anything. Where do all my guns go? We still have 3.1k. So, and it's going to shoot up rapidly rapidly when we lose this terror bombing. Okay, they haven't taken the militia option yet. Which is, I mentioned the last episode, the easiest. Yeah. So, only 35... T oh, the loyalty... Investigation. The investigation was quick and with good reason. Uh, yeah, we must show authority. Issue stating statement acquitting the guard. We don't want to harm their their disloyalty. We also need to add some infantry right here, but we can't really. We're limited on manpower. Which. They got six. So I think that's a pretty standard. Let's see. Uh, we're not gonna raid. We're not gonna raid anything. But I also remember look how sexy these units look. There's one for the SS. For Dural Wangers SS, uh, the Euro League, and us, and also Orenburg, but we can't really see him. Let's also see, they're still going down the election tree. It'll take a while. Uh, Lyshenko Sanity is still at 79%. It's at high. Think you got? Do you guys think it would just be better to get some militia, uh, light infantry? Then you guys could see like that in action. Somehow we just got raised by two. Uh, should we recruit local assets? Disloyalty by 15. Let's wait till we get to 100 political power so we can first bribe soldiers. Let me bribe soldiers actually first. That takes a big chunk of our guns though. But we have. Durl How much time do I have to teach you, man? This is the fourth time Durl Wanger just got pimp slapped. Fourth time! Durwanger, you're supposed to be some big threat. You just got pimp slapped. Again. This is embarrassing. 
Because they're still purging the officers. You should be raiding the Euro League. Like, let's see how much men we lost in that. 21 men versus 143. And three trucks. This is embarrassing. I feel for you, Durlinger. That's. <laughs> oh, wait. Recent developments in a number of rural villages and settlements refer to attachment page 45 co for complement supplementary information have resulted in a death of uh, approximately 14 civilians, the injury of 28 civilians, and the death of two troopers. Immediately following trooper entry into settlement number 87, refer to attachment page 45, civilian test subjects gathered makeshift weapons including but not limited to a musket rifle, a pitchfork, 1918 shuska, a knife, cast iron pots and pans, and proceeded to assault troopers in an uncoordinated attack. During the, t the attack, two troopers were killed, first as a result of, of a knife injury to the shoulder, uh, second as a result of blood blunt injury to the head. Reprisals and self-defense from the troopers from troopers resulted in the death of 14 civilians and the critical injury of 28 civilians. Bodies of civilians were then burned in a large grave, referred to attachment page 46 for supplementary information. Complaints filed to the subcommittee on extraction deaths have led to a coordinated effort within the subcom within with the committee on readiness of the nation to resolve this issue and guarantee lack of further incident. And this is just a new training program. So, they've been using muskets and stuff. It's old. Uh, I think we should get supply production production planning. Uh, then we only need two more. Then we're gonna... And we just got 500 guns from... Hmm. Those Snapchat notification. Uh, Nick's pretty popular. I was worried about that. Okay, their disloyalty is at 29. Not good, not great. But we got... Uh, we could save up. Let's see. Soft attack, hard attack. Soft attack. HP. Yeah, we're gonna save up till we get to 6,000. So it's a 31 right now. I think that's pretty good. Was it just? I think actually no. It was just a 29. Let's get some more army army readiness. Hmm. Foreign training, weaponry drills, advisory methods, market openings. Armament acquisitions, limited force integration. No, we're we're gonna take them out pretty. Super soldat. Uh, this one de reduces army drill, increases army readiness by seven. Uh, we just need manpower. But we're only a couple months from the German Civil War. It might happen this episode. Oh, for a second I thought I didn't do the timer. Ugh. We're about to see this break into Civil War. And, like, at interesting things happen in Africa. But we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Then you guys can also see, like, the super events. That's what they're called. It's it's cool. You guys have to wait. Uh, yeah, I was looking for this. This guy is like a descendant of Genghis Khan or something. Or according to some like really old Chinese leaks and Chinese dev diaries and stuff. Uh, do we have enough equipment to?
flavored. I think then we can get it again. Hmm. So the supply production planning committee. I'm not. I'm not reading that. Uh, you guys can pause it right now. I know my videos are pretty high quality, so you can read that now. It's just bad smog, bad living conditions. <laughs> Actually, we're, we're another bribe soldiers and stuff. It's actually bribe soldiers. Does that bring it down 10%? We're chugging through guns now, though. Actually, no. We have a lot of these. Mostly not guns, PPSHs. Shows like a way to show it's like how much real equipment we have, logistics, tree equipment. Let's see stockpile. Now that's oil. This is fuel and stuff. We're up to producing two guns a day. <laughs> So that's good. And I'm, I'm just hoping Durlwanger raids them. Not us. I do not. I... Oh, they're actually raiding to the south now. That's, that's pretty easy. There's not really a way for us, like, to look. The black bandit on the black moon. I think that's coincides with us sort of taking that. But there's also a way we can game it where we can kill Durlwanger and like make him one of our tusk subjects. Take Orsk and stuff. I also am about to scratch my ear so you guys are going to hear that. Okay, I hope you guys didn't hear that. <laughs> uh, we're going to recruit local assets. How are we not generating any more army experience? Me and my enemy. Irregular tendencies. Okay. Uh. Demonstrate. Yeah, he's he's going a little cuckoo. Cu he is good, mad after all. He's a mad scientist. Ooh. How do you check up all this foreign equipment? Their storage. <sighs> Prepare for the spoils. Still purging the officers. <sighs> yeah, I that much guns as it says we do. Weaponry integration. Just 
guns. The yeah, enemy on my enemy. So it's good we have our divisions here. Ah, can't talk. NKVD dissatisfaction. Yeah, so bribe soldiers is the one I read. I think is because it gives like a minus ten to dissatisfaction. Oh. But we're gonna we're gonna betray Durlwanger and like go to war with him, just in Rushk Ors Rush Orsk. They haven't been able to make any more divisions though because we've been raiding them pretty heavily. Well, they. They've been raiding us, and then we pimp slapped them across the border. <sighs> I just want them to declare war on us. We can beat them back, so. But we're gonna put like four factories here. We got to like. You take it for granted playing like a major and stuff, because then like you can get like. 200 guns out per day and stuff compared to just two. But we're also being terror bombed. And like we're we're only we're this close to Moscowine and stuff. Let me see if Samara. Yeah, they have terror bombing. They're they're collaborators. I don't like them. They collaborate with the the German. Arr. <sighs> I see that. Also, I was like watching my video last night, like right when I uploaded it. For some reason, my Mac wasn't playing sound. That's why I used to upload it and stuff. It works faster than what I'm playing it on uh, my computer. So I was like, oh, then I was like, I was like, it has no sound. And I thought I uploaded it without sound and stuff. I know that's that's pretty crazy, pretty kooky. Vampires and this. Seven K. The the template. Pretty good. Pretty good. Using two note Mosin guns. Rest AK forty sevens. I feel bad for like the poor poor guy who has to use those. Do one more click, but <laughs> the enemy of it. Draw, draw the vermin in, then strike. We're gonna take out Durlwanger. We really do not need him. Okay, super soldat. Is also a reference to the Winter Soldier from Marvel and stuff. We're gonna draw him in and kill him because we 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 outclassed them. They're purging the officers and somewhat organized. And if we kill Durlwanger and stuff, they get a massive penalty. For a second, I thought that was the 5th Division they just trained. But the 36th Waffen SS Panzer Grenader Brigade. It hurts fighting them as, like, the the league and stuff. Uh, it's slowly ticking up. So we could wait till we get to 200. Oh, that's time. Let's just wait. Let's see if we get the results of uh, striking the vermin. Come on, 
Frank Bonnie second. If it's not there by New Year's, then we'll then we'll quit. <sighs> but anyway, this was a pretty tame episode. We only pimp slapped Durlanger one time. Okay, we're five days away. Better, ha it better fire. Oh, goodbye, Durlanger. Well, we'll wait till this event fires. Hope I, you guys can pause and stuff and like look back at the event. Because we're gonna rush across these two tiles right to Orsk. We're gonna have this one hold here and rush to Orsk with this one. Come on, come on, come on. Just five, like, ten more days. We want. Oh. We got army experience. That means we can. Persecute officers. Ah. Uh, then we could do. Oh, wait. We need five more. We're trying to just get it down, so. Come on, please. Please, please. Let it fire, let it fire. I want to kill Daryl Wanger in this episode. Get rid of the brigade, because them raiding us is pretty annoying. Okay, we, we didn't capture them, but they're purging the offices, so rip Durlwanger. Super Sodati. Orsk has been captured. Ah. The elimination of southern obstructions. Reports of resistance from the forces identifying as the Durlwanger Brigade, aka the Black Bandits, have been steadily decreasing. Let's see. Ooh, that's a lot of equipment. Following the total collapse of their central leadership in the face of our offensive, since the initiation of hostilities, the unorganized nature of bandit forces made them vulnerable for well coordinated assaults. For our information, see after action reports on operations I-438 and Z-19. This allowed the forces of the 22nd Motor Rifles Division to halt their attempted offensives with an 82% success rate and launched their own counteroffensive into bandit territory. Bandit resistance increased measurably as they retreated far further south. In all likelihood, due to the increasing proximity to, the po to their power bases and centers of command. This increase in resistance peaked during the fighting around Orsk. See Population Center File Orsk, the unofficial capital of the bandit territory and the site of Durlwanger's personal headquarters. Conflict was particularly intense within the urban center, but the disorganization of the bandit forces still proved their downfall as the city was surrounded and all resistance was ice was within was isolated and eventually terminated. With the exception of several hit and run raids by isolated bandit groups, see patrol reports 1235, 7532, and 0192, all resistance within the region has come to an end and order is being reestablished. Members of the bandit command have been detained and are scheduled for transport for Magnitogorsk, where they will be quarantined, assigned to special testing procedures, see special test subject experimentation protocol guidelines. The remaining bandit prisoners are to be held until they can be examined to be to determine the sustainable suitability of potential su test subjects. Though heavily damaged by the bandit occupation, the industrial resources of Orsk and the surrounding region will, will make useful additions to our own industrial base and reconstruction is scheduled to begin soon. Understood.
And that, we just pimp slapped Durawanker. I'm Nick Davis. I'll see you guys next time. We'll take down the league in Orenburg.